Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video we have a very special guest. I would very much like to welcome from the cleaner's cupboard, Ryan. Poof! And as if by magic, there he is! Hey! Hi Ryan! Hi! Ryan. So hello and welcome. Yes, this is a very special video. Ryan has come to uh, join us and he's brought two Hoover commercial vacuum cleaners. So Ryan, would you like to show us what you've brought? I would love to. So first up, yeah, we have we have the Womble. The Womble from Wimbledon, which is actually a Werbel from Germany. Yes, this is a Werbel apparently. And I had no idea that um, Hoover had, ha had actually contracted um, this Werbel company to make this machine. Have you ever seen one like this before? I believe you can still get Werbels of this kind of style. Really? Yeah. They're slightly bigger now, oh. but they do still make them. That's interesting. If I just turn around so, that, so you guys can see, you see the front now. So that's the front. It's, it's weird though, isn't it? Because it's got like, it's got all the good commercial wording on the back. Yeah, it's a bit kind of... Uh, it's got like that on the front. It's, yeah, it's a really funny little thing. Now this is, this puts me in mind of the, um, it, there's like a third one that we haven't got here. Do, do you know the one? It's like, it's, it's all cream. Yes, I know the one. So I think this is slightly earlier than that. Um, so this is from around, I believe this one's from about 83. 83? Yeah, I oh, think. Wow, that's amazing. There's no serial number on it, is there? Can you, I don't know. Let's take the cable off another look, see if we can smash. So I don't think it's like the usual yeah. Hoover serial oh, number, no. it's slightly different. It's obviously right. it's a, a wearable. I can't get my plug out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Let's get off of that. There we are. Yeah, so, so we've just got this. We've got an. It says number one eight two six two. So that is like the eighteen eighteen thousandth two hundred and sixty second machine. But yes, it doesn't give us any clues as to. It's not traditional Hoover. No serial number, unfortunately, so you can't really date it. But no. I'm fairly sure it's around eighty three, eighty four. I mean, it would it time. would make sense, wouldn't it? Because that that other one, that the, the one I'm thinking of, that was definitely a more modern look yeah. than this one has. Pretty sure that later one was made by Hoover. Yeah, it makes sense to. It makes sense that it would be. But interestingly, I I remember this hose entry port. That's the same on that oh, okay. on that other one. Because mm. um, I, I used to use that. It's one from my one from my distant past. That is. Uh, we had one of those when I worked at Tesco. Mm. Um, I was the evening cleaner in Tesco, and we had one of those machines to do the checkouts with. Okay. So we used that to vacuum all the checkouts. Or to all 25 <laughs> tills that I had to go through and just clean every single till. Um, and that's that's the machine that I used for it. It's a bit of a, um, it's not a childhood machine, but... Like a teenage machine. A trip down memory lane. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is really nice to have. Um, so I, I, I bought this machine and this other one from Ryan, because you, you were having a clear out, weren't you? I was having a clear out. I basically filled my cleaning cupboards to capacity. To capacity mm, and mm. um yeah it's time for a clear out unfortunately so yeah yeah and you thought because they're hoover and, and you straight away you know how much i love hoover. i know how much you love a hoover so, so. Yeah. yeah yeah they've come to me so let's have a quick look inside this one i am i am interested to see inside it let's take the top off and have a look what we've got so we have a ooh, quite a little stumpy little motor unit there is it quite loud no uh, not particularly no. i don't know how much sound deadening it's got it sounds a bit like um it reminded me of a Goblin Solo, but not quite as loud as that. Really? Yeah, it's got that kind of sound to it. Oh, that's interesting. What if it's a single fan or a twin? It, I would say it's going to be twin fan. I'd say so. It's probably twin, yeah. Eight, 800 watt motor uh, twin fan. I mean, if it's a single fan, it would be a good option, wouldn't it? Right, let's pop that there. And then we have like this cage filter, like so. I'm not sure that's you guys. So that in, in there. Let's pop that there. And um, then we have a little paper bag inside. It's quite a sweet little thing actually. It's, it's, it's quite cute. I like it. I like it. Well, I've actually there. used it for work. I've used it commercially and the good thing about it is it's small and light. Yes. Yes, which is exactly what you want, isn't yeah. it? It's got plenty of power. Shall we, shall we plug him in and just um yeah, if we can I think I can reach the reach the socket from here. Pull that one out. There we go. Do you want to do this? I'll do this one. Oh. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
You're right about the compactness. Yeah, it does. It sounds like a Hoover Compact. It's yeah, I mean, a compact or Goblin Solo. Same difference. Same thing. Yeah, that's yeah, right. same. That's same what I meant. Hoover right. Compact. It's got that kind of sound to it. Definitely, definitely. And interestingly, it's got a it's got a power takeoff socket just there as well. So you could put a... use it. Does work. Oh, you have used it. Use it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. My big Sebo powerhead. Oh, nice, mm. nice. I can imagine that would do a really good job. Did, yeah, Brilliant. yeah, yeah. That would be fantastic. Yeah, so that's our first one. That's our, our little wearable. Our little wearable. So let's pop the wearable down here. Let me pull the, pull the plug out again. There we go. And this next one, well, mm. this is this this for me is like the oh, oh that's the one. I mean that wearable one's nice, but this you've had your eye on this one for a while. I you? have had my eye on this one for <laughs> quite some time. Do you want to? I'll present it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not for the first time. No, here we go. It's oh, just... look at that! Ta -da. Now that is that is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. That is amazing. So okay. this is the commercial version of the Hoover module. module. Yes. You know what? What we should do? Go and get the module. We should get the module. Completely. Okay. Yeah. okay. So let's just let's pause there. We'll get the module, and then we can see them side by side. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I think this is the first time in my life that I've ever seen these, these two machines mm. um, side by side. And they are almost exactly the same, aren't they? I think the only real difference is the handle. So this has a fixed handle and this module has a little yeah, I think that I style of commercial came slightly later, so at a time with the later yes. Packer Masters, which yes. handled so that's 1990. Um, that's right, of course it is. If I turn around like that so you can see the... I'm pretty sure somewhere on that it says um, Hoover 1990 in brackets as well. Right. I'm okay. rubbish, but... Um, well, no, that makes sense though, doesn't yeah. it? Because you're absolutely right, because this is the later um, Aquamaster style pretty much. top, and this is the earlier. It. That's the Mark One and, and the Mark Two. Um, because when this was around, so this is what 86, 87? That 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 particular machine's 86. 86. Yeah. So the commercial, the later commercial, similar to that other one, the wearable. Yeah. That was still around when this was around. And then that got replaced by that. Ah oh, so yes. That, that does make sense. Yes, of course. Oh, right. I've just I'm coming to the label now. God, that's a quite a long flex. <laughs> Plug this one in so we can hear it going. Now let's see, what does this one say? It says C2702012. So this is December 1990. Oh, there we go. This one, yeah. Hoover 90, Great Britain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so cool. God, it's, what, it's almost five. It's 30 years old. There you go. Oh, that's more. <laughs> it's 31. 31, 31, 31 years old. Years old. Oh, they can kiss, look. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> oh, you love Shoei does. So let's have a look inside this one. Should we open them both up? Yeah, open both up. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. I wonder if they're both exactly the same. Oh, I don't think they are actually. No, because these had the option of. Um, oh, this one. I can't remember one of them. You had the option of an additional filter. That was this one. Yeah, I think I've got a spare one in the doors actually. Yes. Oh, no, they are the same. I beg your pardon. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, both uh, same underneath. This has the filter in it, but uh, this one doesn't. Um, and then we've got our big filters. And so, so oh, oh, what's happening there? That's leaked. Oh, it's shady. You know, do you know what that's from? What's that from? That was from when we painted the, the front. I was going to say it smells like this. Yeah. Can I can I smell? Yeah, that was like from the when... smell. It is, it is. I can't believe that. We were only talking about that <laughs> the other day. Ah, oh, weird. Yeah, so that bag must have broke. I just think they're rubbish bags, to uh, be honest. They're yeah. single ply bags, aren't they? So. Oh, that'll be why. Yeah. We took, we, took, we took them up and then you guys can see inside. I think they are pretty much exactly the same. There you go. Yeah. There, you go. Ooh, there is a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
all of the things. How oh, cool! I think they both came from me actually. That one obviously has some. Yes, this one did too. I did. I did get that one from you. Yes. Yes, you're like my drug dealer. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Even the all these vacuum cleaners. So yeah, that's really cool to see them both in the same place. So let's um, let's switch this one on see what it sounds like. Actually, how many watts is this one? Uh, a thousand. So this is this is a thousand watts. That's nine hundred, isn't it? Because hence hmm. the nine hundred. It's probably a thousand watts, and they just put probably nine hundred on it. <laughs> So these two, these two machines are now going to go in the Uber room, along with their cousins. But uh, I think, really, we should ask you, seeing as you are the very special guest oh. on the channel, would you demonstrate them? I would love to for demonstrate us. them. Yeah. Yes, we'll find some tools, yeah, and then um, yeah, we can yeah, see yeah. them in action, and Ryan can do the driving. <laughs> You sure about that? Well, he is sober now, so that should be fine. Bloody cheek. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, come over to the lounge and we will see these machines in action. <laughs> 